Guess I might as well heal. Hello, welcome to the Trainer Tower, where trainers gather from all over. Trainers are awaiting your challenge up to the 8th floor. If you'd like to challenge, uh... Info. Event called Time Attack. You'll be timed on how quickly you can get from the reception counter to the owner on the roof. Best times will be recorded on the time board. Try competing with friends to see who can beat it the fastest. You will not earn any experience points or money by beating trainers yet. Then what's the point? If you won't get anything, then what's the point? Alright, you just sell items. Um, I could use some potions, honestly. Actually, I'm just gonna buy some hyper potions. Revive. Definitely need some of those for the Elite Four. And I'll, I'll get a couple of escape ropes as well. And I guess I'll just fill up the rest on repels. So what's the point of doing this if you don't get any items or experience or money? I mean, I guess I'll try it just for the sake of doing it. I love how it stopped me in my running animation. <laughs> oh! You have Gen 2 starters. Interesting. I'm just glad I don't have to look at its back sprite. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Not as bad as- I honestly thought that would one-shot me. <laughs> Yay, for all Gator went to sleep. Now I can heal off of you. You have to put a Pokemon around level 40, 49 in front of your party, put up a max repel, and bike through some grass. If it doesn't show up, go into a building, come back out, and keep going up until you find it. That is so stupid! Does it specifically have to be between 40 and 49? Because if so, I don't even know if I have anybody that's level uh, 40 to 49. I know for a fact I do in Leaf Green. So if, we're, if push comes to shove, I could theoretically send somebody over from there. Why do you know Aerial Ace? If it's above 50, the repel will also repel the legendary. Damn it, so I do need that. That's actually kind of dumb. Actually, no, that's really dumb. That's immensely dumb. Why? I, I hate that. Don't tell me you're gonna poison me. Please don't. Please don't do that. Also, how did the, how did the, a little kid like this get here? Why do you have a level 65 B drill? Holy crap! I don't think anybody I've I've ever seen has ever kept a B drill around until the level 60s. Yanma. Uh, that's... Bug? I think? 
I want to say that's bug flying. It looks so cute. Not you, son of a... God, stop it. <laughs> Remember the episode of Chugga's Platinum LP where he was catching legendary birds which were roaming and he had gone completely insane by the end? Yeah, uh, this game has already driven me insane and we haven't even dealt with roaming yet, so... This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Jesse, please wake up. Now one-shot it. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Get the freaking D-pad. GameCube D-pad is so bad, and this game is clearly not built for a stick. There's not good control options. Wow, that is... that didn't do shit. Please hurt yourself. Thank you. Alright, good. It went to sleep. View. There we go. That's better, Mr. Kitty. God, it feels nice to have Mr. Kitty in the party again. I actually haven't had him for the most part in Leaf Green because he was actually kind of overleveled compared to everybody else. He was almost single handedly sweeping the entire Elite Four and Blue. So I kind of had him, I had him swapped out for Venusaur, just so that I could have cut. So that I wouldn't have to, like, go back and switch out Pokemon to get through the postgame. So, uh, yeah, he actually hasn't been in my party for a while. This is the first time I've been using him in, like, about a week. I'd like to think that that one broken execute in the back is just dead. And they're just carrying it around for the sake of having another another um another egg in the party to make themselves look bigger and therefore more threatening. Like that's one of the eggs that fell out of the nest and died. Can I go up this friggin' staircase? I swear to god. Thank you. That's Kevin. He's dead. Shit. That's not good. <sighs> Please go to sleep, primate. Please. Please. God damn it. What? Why do you know overheat? Mr. Kitty, please don't kill yourself. Okay, thank you. God damn it! No! Dale, your turn. Please kill it. <laughs> Why does this primate know overheat? <laughs> I 
No, no, you stop that. You, you refrain. No. Oh my god. Confused status. Please, please stop. Dale, please, please kill it. Cease! Come on, Dale. Dale, please. Thank you. Ah! It's so close! Oh yeah, that reminds me, I have to go get rid of Rock Smash again. Slow bro, uh... Mr. Kitty technically would be the good option for this, but... Yeah, no. <laughs> How do I want to go about dealing with this? I guess I'll just... Actually, no. Water type. I didn't think of that. I didn't think that through. I guess Skull Bash? I do like how that raises my defense, though. Of course, that doesn't mean anything against somebody who keeps spamming psychic moves, but still. That didn't do shit! Wow! Alright, I guess I'll try Mr. Kitty. Because he'll probably outspeed him. I'm just really hoping that Shadow Ball will one-shot it. Please one-shot it. God damn! Please don't have any water moves. You- can you not? Can you not? Dude. What the hell is your plan here? You are a water type. So there is no way you would benefit from something like Solar Beam. And you just used a move that powers up fire types against the fire type. Why did you do that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why is a water type using Sunny Day? Guess we're having an earthquake battle. <laughs> hmm. Please don't use earthquake again. Shit! I was really hoping you wouldn't do that. Oh, you son of a bitch! Well, I need the revive.
Actually, you know what? I could probably just get away with doing this. Because Chad does that, that type advantage here. He can probably handle Tauros. Why are you spamming Earthquake? Can you not? Thank you. No, not on Mr. Kitty. Good thing I stocked up on revives. No, not. I really wish it wouldn't kick me from the Pokemon menu every time I misclicked. There we go. Oh my god, playing this game with a stick is so frustrating. When you need to go in openings that are like one block wide, it's so annoying. A Dunsparce! Look at that happy little boy. Let's kill it. What? I thought you were bug type. What? 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 Oh, come on! Screw you! Well, if you are... if you are a normal type, then... I suppose this is a job for Chad. Can you stop? Like, can you actually stop? That's a good question, Temp. That is a very good question. How do I want to deal with a Politoed? Again, I don't have a way of dealing with water types. I guess I'll leave Chad. His job is punching fish, after all. Never mind, he's asleep. Actually, do I have an awakening? No, god damn it. Can you stop with the status effects? Oh my god. Oh my god, stop. Oh, come on! Come on! Oh my god, really? Really? Why, game? Why do you do this to me?
Where are my stupid full heels? Where are they? There they are. I'm gonna fly into Hoenn because that's where all the berries are. Then I will come to the whole... Then I will come to the whole region for person berries. So all two ten-year-olds pet kitty can't confuse my yellow snake. Yeah. Yeah. That definitely seems like something that people from, from Kanto would do. Because Kanto is dumb. There's literally just a burglar here. What? You have a shiny Meowth? Bruh! Why do you have a shiny? Yeah, that's right, we do know what he stole. Come on, use Dream Eater. Dream Eater. Yeah! Damn, that almost healed me completely. Nice. This is definitely a job for Shad. Is a trainer an emerald with a shiny Espeon? Is the are, are trainers with shiny scripted or are they the same randomness? Because I remember hearing somewhere that there's the same randomness. Oh my... Holy shit! Why did that health bar take so long to go down? <laughs> I mean, I, I still one-shotted it, but still. Uh oh. <laughs> nice. Nice. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Go to sleep, damn it! <laughs> Okay. You know, Metronome scares me, but also it's just not having good luck right now. Okay, good. I was gonna say, I was really hoping that wasn't something that got rid of sleep. Yeah, I mean, I understand that Chansey is a tank, but like... Even so, honestly, I did not think Chad would be able to one-shot it. That's a little insane to me. Didn't do shit. Wait, really? I thought Chansey was supposed to be a tank.
Oh, I made it to the top. What? You gave me an up? I already have an upgrade. That was so pointless. Well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> I guess we'll go look for Raikou now. I can't believe we went through all of that to get no money, no experience, and an item we already have. That was such a waste of time, and I am let down. I'm immensely disappointed. Is there a set island, or not island, a set route um, where Raikou is more likely to appear? Like, is there a certain place that I should look that gives me better chances? Is there an optimal searching spot, is my question. Also, let me just check the PC and see if I have a level, um, a level 42, 49. Because I honestly don't know if I do. Oh, we do. We have Rock's Neck. A lot of people said Route 2. Okay. Let's try that. Now, where the hell is Route 2? Alright, that's here. Uh, before I do that, though, I want to go get um, Waterfall back because Rock Smash sucks. Goodbye, piece of shit move. Actually, can... Okay, yeah, Rock's Neck can learn it, so I'll give it to him. Why the fuck do you know Dragon Breath? What? Why do you know that? I guess we'll get rid of Rage. Or actually, no, Sandstorm. Why the hell does this thing know Dragon Breath? When Sinnoh remakes happen, I can play the play those without HMs. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be nice. Actually, wait, we don't know if they're... Because I don't think they got rid of HMs for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Or was that Gen, th or Gen 6 and not Gen 7? Because now that I'm thinking about it, that was Gen 7 that they got rid of HMs. Wait, this isn't Route 2. This is the Victory Road place. Oras was Gen... I know Oras was Gen 6, but I don't remember if they got rid of HMs in Gen 6 or Gen 7. 